Folks, good afternoon, good evening to a few out there. It's the Earthmaster back on this Tuesday, July 18th, 2023. It's about 5.32 California time p.m. here. Got a report of a large earthquake just offshore of the El Salvador region. Uh, doesn't look like it's... Let me refresh this and see if this has come in yet to the Earthquake 3D globe here. Stand by for just a second. We have been seeing a little swarm of activity here. Uh, not seeing it show up yet on the Earthquake 3D Globe, which is kind of odd because I have a combination there of the EMSC and the USGS. Uh, but this earthquake uh, shows here on the EMSC world map and it's listed as a, uh, an event. So let's see what we got for seismographs. There we go. There is what looks to be the first sign of a, a large earthquake shown into Southern California, also Yellowstone in uh uh, maybe down here in Chile as well. So this is just coming in. Uh, USGS has not picked up on this yet. A lot of times the Tsunami Warning Center will pick up on it as well. They're pretty quick, but no sign of the event yet. Uh, again, uh, it's coming off of a 6.6 uh, .6 earthquake into the El Salvador region. And um, just kind of uh, waiting to see how this... Uh, comes about because it's uh obviously not showing up yet let's go to the world map and show you guys here at least on the emsc csem model it is it's rather weird 3.7 being reported in turkey but we're not worried about a 3.7 more concerned with this larger quake down here that just struck in the last literally the last shows about in the last 10 minutes or so and more details Source parameters have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist. Looks like a depth of about 53 kilometers. Uh, let's see here. Not a not a whole lot of stuff here. Um, historical seismicity. Yeah, goodness, it's it's a major area. It's it's basically a subduction zone down there off the coast here of El Salvador, right center in the middle of America Trench. So uh, this is the case. It definitely looks like some type of large earthquake, right? It's showing up there in Southern California, showing up in Chile, just barely showed up in Yellowstone. So just a little on the, the uh, slow side here, I would say. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, let's refresh this on the globe again. Just a little, little odd. Either way, um, some report of a somewhat of a large earthquake there El Salvador region not showing up yet on the earthquake 3d globe nor the USGS so um, yeah all right um, whatever the magnitude is here we'll provide an update I don't think uh, New Zealand here is not not working can't pick them up definitely showing up there in California look at that that's it's a good distance right from about El Salvador north El Salvador down to Chile. It's almost like a split difference there showing up at the same time, although a little bit later there in the Chile area. Uh, but definitely somewhat of a sizable quake there. I think it's probably a, a good uh, good judgment to say that it's probably in the 6 range. Uh, and by the way, space weather activity is uh, continuing here. Let's check out the spaceweather.com site. Spaceweather solarham.net. There we go. Still seeing some effects here from yesterday's activity and also today's M flare uh, the planet's being uh, bombarded here with charged particles uh, this is the proton event that's kicking up here across the uh, polar regions more so on the north than, the, than in the south but this has been an ongoing thing here for oh about 24 hours now so a lot of uh, stuff going on in the uh, space weather department uh, that M flare earlier today was from sunspot number um well that was from yesterday i'm talking about uh this one right here it wasn't quite a large m flare but it did reach into the m flare category uh, i believe that one came off of this regional sunspot up here uh, or potentially this one looks like that's just coming down either way we're getting very active in terms of the solar weather activity right now uh, with a high chance here of X flare 20%, M flare at 50, C flare at 99% chance, and these things are growing in complexity. 
we'll continue to watch this here for some further uh, development there. Low activity north of Yellowstone as well, it looks like, uh, near Jardine or Jardine, Montana, 2.6 coming in. Uh, let's see here, Earthquake 3D Globe a little slow, not for sure why, because it's um, literally connect there we go now it's connected on there you guys see that looks like that got downgraded to a 6.4 still somewhat of a larger quake though and that's from the emsc usgs i don't think they've picked up on it yet here doesn't look like it uh, if it gets upgraded downgraded we'll make the adjustment in the video accordingly but for now stay safe out there folks still a lot of movement going on a lot of solar weather activity affecting things here on earth We'll catch you guys back here later tonight with a complete update video. Peace out.